we're going to talk about how to securely erase a hard drive. Attackers like to get hold of hard drives that might have data on them, especially if it's sensitive data, because the data could be used for their benefit. There are two things that can get you in trouble with hard drives. One is that when you ask an operating system to delete data from a drive, sometimes the operating system just simply marks that area as, hey, you can use this later but the data is never actually erased. The second problem is, even if data is erased from a drive, sometimes there's a little bit of hint of the magnetism that was there before, called data remnants, and there are tools that can allow people to go recover that information. So what we need to do is protect the drive if you're gonna give it away or sell it or dispose of your computer. And there are ways you can crush the drive, use chemicals to basically eat away at the drive. You can use magnetism on hard drives, not solid state drives. But all these things will destroy the drive so it can't be used anymore. If you want to donate the drive or even use it some more yourself, there's another option called sanitization. When you sanitize a hard drive, it's less secure, but the drive is still usable. The way sanitization works is you write over and over and over where a file used to be with random data. And as a result, it makes it very difficult to go in and recover the files that were there. Solid state drives, in case you're wondering, they do need to be sanitized as well. Even though they're just made of chips, they can still hold data remnants. We're going to look at two different programs. One is called DBAN, and you can see it's at www.dban.org. And the other is called sdelete, and sdelete is available if you start at www.sysinternals.com. We'll be focusing on sdelete in this video. Always back up your important data twice. Hopefully you're doing that anyway. Let's look at how to download sdelete. You want to open your browser and browse to the website sysinternals.com. Once you get to that website, you're going to see a screen that gives you a lot of options. You're going to want to scroll down a little bit on the screen and you'll choose the disk utilities. Once you go to that screen, you'll scroll down some more and you're going to see the utility labeled sdelete, the tool we've been talking about. So click on download to download sdelete. When you save the file, your computer is going to run a security scan on it and then give you the option to open the folder. Once you look at the folder, right click on the zip file and say extract. Once you get the file extracted, go up to the top line and type in CMD because that opens a DOS prompt where now you can type in your sdelete command and do whatever it is you want to do. There's some switches you can put on the sdelete command. One of them is when you put have hyphen p, and hyphen p is how you tell sdelete how many times you want it to pass over the drive. So if you're happy with random data only getting written once over the drive, you can use hyphen p space one. The example here would be three passes over the drive. Another switch is the hyphen c. What hyphen c does is it deletes and protects, sanitizes the data on the drive in areas that the operating system is saying, well, there are no files there. So hyphen C goes out and grabs any extra space on the drive and makes sure that it's sanitized as well. Another switch is where you can specify S delete and say, here are the files I want you to delete. So in this case, you would already have files on the drive, but maybe you had a file called C colon backslash my most sensitive data, then that's the path you would put in, S delete, C colon backslash, my sensitive data. If you just want to erase specific files and write over them five times, now you would combine some switches. So you would put hyphen P five to say you want to do this five times. The hyphen S is a switch I didn't give you before, but it basically just tells S delete to delete files within that folder and any other folders that within that folder and so on. It gets the whole tree in this case below my docs and you would list that. So here's an example of what you could put into your computer, just change the drive and the folder name, and you'll be able to erase everything in that folder. If you wanna just clean a hard drive that's existing, you've deleted all your regular data that you feel like was sensitive, and you just wanna make sure that that data is gone, here's a command you could use, sdelete space hyphen P3, which you're aware that's gonna do three passes, then hyphen C which tells us to leave, that you want to clean the areas, even the areas that are not being used right now on the drive. 
if you want to completely sanitize a drive, maybe a USB drive, an external one that's on drive D, here's the command you'll use. S delete hyphen P three, which would be three passes, hyphen C to get even the clean space, and then hyphen S space D colon backslash star dot star. If you have your USB drive showing as drive E, just replace E where the D is now. Be aware that each one of these passes can take a very long time, and we're talking hours, not minutes. So before you say put in a pass that want 10 passes, realize that you might want to go on vacation. If you are wanting to interrupt the process, if you hold down the control key on your keyboard and tap C, the C key like in Charlie, control C will interrupt the process if you need to stop S delete from running. For more IT best practices, visit fosterinstitute.com.